Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, this time of year, and I've said it in other times when I've talked to you, this is really a glorious time of the year because spring is, spring is if, if we don't think it's here right now, it's right around the corner. And our, our, our mood, our spirits are raising because the warm water, water the sun, everything is, is sort of uplifting at this time of the year. But the fishing right now, there's so many opportunities. And one of those opportunities is trout fishing. And I know we have streams that we think about, like in St. Regis Falls, there's the St. Regis River that comes through there, and the Salmon River in Malone, and there's a lot of other smaller streams. But there's a lot of ponds that exist on the periphery of our area. And these ponds might still be frozen, but this time of the year, when the, when the ice starts to go out, it can be absolutely great fishing. And let me tell you why, because now there's almost an inversion in water temperature and oxygen and, and so forth, where the fish that were way down deep all of a sudden come up near the surface when that ice goes out. And it can be a great time to catch the biggest trout in the pond. And now I'm going to talk about brook trout because a lot of our ponds, what makes them so special and so famous is that they have populations of brook trout. And I got to tell you how this time of the year I always fish for brook trout was in a canoe and either with a trolling motor or a set of oars or paddles to slowly make my way around the shoreline of a pond. Now, why the shoreline? Because there's a lot of deadfalls. There's a change in, in depth as you, as you leave the shore. There's usually a quick change in depth. But there's a, this is a place where I think the fish, the brook trout, feel that they're going to find food in, the, in this sort of periphery area. And so I would slowly, and I say I would, I was usually with one of my buddies, John Clark, who used to be the athletic director of St. Lawrence University. He and I fished so many of the ponds. And he really introduced me to this kind of fishing. But we'd slowly make our way along using fly rods and sinking fly lines. And at the end of those fly lines, we would have some kind of a streamer, usually a dark-colored woolly bugger. And that, that seemed to be the go-to lure. Or, you know, we might have had uh, a hornberg or maybe a muddler or a spudler minnow. Now, <laughs> these are names that if you're not a fly fisherman, you don't know what I'm talking about, but they're patterns that look like something the fish are going to want to eat. They either look like big, big bugs or nymphs or leeches in the case of a woolly bugger, or with the muddler minnow, it looks like a little fish. And so we would slowly make our way along, and boy, I'll tell you what, this can be wonderful fishing. Or my buddy Russ Eddy told me on a phone conversation we had yesterday that he has a new friend that's doing some work on his house that fishes for trout in these ponds, brook trout. And he says this time of the year, he catches really big ones. And he uses a spinning rod with a black hair jig. And when he casts it out and he's fishing 10 to 15 foot below the surface on average, not way down deep if it's a real deep pond, but in that sort of water level and he slowly again makes his way along but he's casting and he reels that jig back directly at a slow speed remember that word slow because when the water's cold this time of the year we want to slow down our presentation those fish their metabolism is slower they're not going to move as quickly as they will once it starts warming up they're going to be feeding down as opposed to right on the surface and so Rather than jigging the jig, which we normally associate with jigs, is jigging them up and down, he's just swimming them back slowly. And that black hair jig is going to look very much like what I imagine a woolly bugger looks like to the fish. So there's, there's different ways that you can catch these fish. But we don't, we don't talk about trout enough. I think trout, have a, it's a whole nother type of fishing. It's a whole nother type of reward. They're beautiful they taste great if you want to keep them. And this is the time of the year when the pond fishing might be better than the stream fishing because the stream fish, the streams are still high and cold and they're moving fast and maybe dirty. Now, a lot of the ponds haven't melted yet. 
you know, as you go over towards the Adirondacks, those ponds are going to take a lot longer to thaw. But once they do, boy, this is the time you ought to be there. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. <laughs>